Thousand Oscillator Mega Drone. If you've seen any of my videos in the past like three or four months, chances are you've seen this either come from jet sounds up into a unison or playing chords and sounding like, um, you know, the climax in a bread advert. All in all, it's a pretty snazzy machine, however, it's rather unwieldy and we've only scratched the surface of its capabilities, but still, it takes an hour to tune, so it's not exactly a practical musical instrument. So how do you get a bank of oscillators like that to make the sounds that it does uh, without spending two months of your life uh, soldering and soldering and soldering? The first option is you could probably use a computer, but nobody wants to do that. Computers are for losers. Another option is to build one of these banks of 10 oscillator panels uh, yourself and have it going woo on your own. You, you can do that. However, what if you don't want to get your fingers burnt on a soldering iron? What more options do you have? Well, put on your sunglasses because there is another option. It's the Solar 50 by Elta Music. I'm gonna take off these, I can't see things anymore. Elta Music kindly sent this over for me to review and it's gonna be available for anybody to play in the museum of everything else when it opens very soon. Like I said, I did get sent this, which is absolutely awesome when you think about it, it's like mad. But I will be trying to give as unbiased of an opinion on this as possible. Like, would I personally buy it? No, but that's because I've got a thousand oscillator mega drone, so I don't think I'm exactly the target audience here. So what is this? It's a bank of 50 oscillators, sort of like the 100 oscillator mega drone. And I remember speaking to Elton Music a while back uh, when they started to kind of think about and design this machine. It was turned out, it was inspired a little bit by the concept of the 100 oscillator mega drone and the idea being an overpowering amount of oscillators. Straight away when this turned up, I did a Patreon live stream turning it up and seeing what the heck it was about. Is it Russian? I haven't even got a clue what volt, oh no, 24 volts, one amp. I don't know whether it's DC or AC. Hey, hey, ooh. First off, before we dig into this reasonably heavy thing, it's actually all metal. Let's take it apart and have a look what's inside. I have a feeling this is gonna take a moment. Right, now I'm looking, I haven't got a clue why I said I was gonna tear this apart because there's about a hundred knobs on here. It's gonna take forever. Good grief, this is insane. I don't think I've ever taken apart a, like, a modern product that has got this much hardware. How long it must have taken just to put one of these together? Because there's just so many. It's taken me like 20 minutes to get just this far. Oh, time for the big reveal. Oh, that is cool. It's extremely nice. Our warranty has been sufficiently voided. That is madness. The piezo speaker has been directly connected to the back of the board. I'm not going to remove these parts. I don't want to get that far in. No wonder the taking all the nuts off this nearly broke me. It's just insane. I wonder if we can get one of the LFO uh, switches off. But that's a really nice custom cover for the light, which is a wow. I did not realize that, that is amazing. So when you remove these absolutely beautiful custom LFO light covers, you see this, which is absolutely incredible. This is how it is modulated. It's so much of a hardware synthesizer that the modulation is from LDRs around an LED. Now that is amazingly cool. On closer inspection, you can actually see the transistors these are indeed reverse avalanche oscillators. And not so magic fingers are gonna put this back together. So it's got 10 of these touch bars, which trigger the separate banks of oscillators. And there's 10 banks of five oscillators with various inputs and outputs. You could do lots of different things with the oscillators. You could modulate them, for instance.
The filter, as far as I'm aware, is based on a Polyvox filter, and then this cartridge effector is based on one of their previous products, which was an effects pedal that has separate little Game Boy style cartridges that plug in, and each of these different effects cartridges have three separate effects. Oh, I'll turn it up. If I turn up Z on Infinity, it actually just lasts forever. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. that you can use the envelope follower with the piezo speaker into stuff like the filter or let's say for instance the CV mod So the release output of one of them plugs into the gate input of the next one and it kind of, kind of cascades. Get the LFO modulating some of these uh, oscillators. What's the, uh, ooh, magic sounds funky. Let's try magic. And shove some in. All aboard, welcome to the circus rides. Hello, pitch shifter, let's try that one. I've got three of these oscillators right here playing an initial chord and the attacks come in at different times so it brings in different aspects of the chord. And then there's one that's down here. And I'm triggering these with the gate outputs on the drums of this BeatStep Pro.
One thing I have to say about it is it is a little bit cramped. Your fingers can be prone to uh, maybe making some things out of tune, but you know, you've just got to practice. The thing is, if it was designed to be twice the size, it would probably end up being twice the price. So, I mean, you've got to kind of weigh up these things. Another thing is the VCAs have a little bit of bleed. You can sort of hear a little bit of all of the oscillators in the background. It's not a massive amount, so it's perfectly fine, but if you are gonna slam it with a limiter and a compressor or something, you take that into consideration and maybe add a tiny little bit of noise gate beforehand. It is a really visceral hardware synthesizer, and I think that is just part of its charm. It's practical applications. I'm not sure what I can suggest at the minute. Obviously, playing normal songs, you know, why don't you just get a normal keyboard? This thing is for just sitting there, twisting knobs and stuff. It's a very similar sensation to tuning the Thousand Oscillator Mega Drone. That being, it can be a little bit tedious, but if you do it right, it is actually pretty magical. You're gonna have to practice tuning this thing. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's the same as a guitar. Don't go in expecting it to be easy from the start. All in all, I think it's a really cool machine. It has the spirit of the Mega Drone. You know, I'm, I'm proper behind that. Like I said, this Solar 50 is gonna be a available to play in the museum of everything else when it opens which will hopefully be very soon it has been quite a saga to say the least if you want to see more live streams trying out things like this and that then please go and check it out over on my patreon because this supports big projects like the thousand oscillator mega drone it supports the whole venture as well as this uh, ridiculous museum idea that i've got coming up and also there's isolated recordings of the solar 50 that are available to download on my patreon for you to sample and do whatever so if you heard something that you liked in this video then chances are it's available to download but yeah until next time i've been look mum no computer if you like what you saw don't forget to subscribe and don't be scared to try it.